is an MC dude. That's a summit. That's an ABBA. This isn't a high spot. We're talking about evangelization. We're talking about evangelization. I can do this. It's church stuff. Hey, Greg. Hi, Larry. What's up? Bishop John asked me to to MC um, this evangelization summit that we're doing. And to be honest, I'm really yeah, yeah, kind of lost. Yes, you did do this. <laughs> you. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, he did. Okay. Um, I think he had limited resources, but um, and I'm kind of struggling with how does that look? I mean, I'm, I, I know you want me to lead a prayer. Great. You want me to, but evangelization, what? I, I mean, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, I'm <laughs> better, better you than me, man. I'm telling you. Um, you know, I, 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 Greg, you know, what do we do when we're stuck? I mean, what do we do when, when we, when we, when we really have something big to, to accomplish? And, you know, I know I, I have to take a moment and just pray about it. Why don't we pray about it? Why don't we pray about it? In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us this moment together. Lord, we bless you for this day. And we ask you to bless our hearts and to fill us with the Holy Spirit with wisdom. Help us, Lord, to lead your people to where you want them to go. And Lord, we ask you to grant all of the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's good, Larry. You know, I just don't, I don't know if I'm the right person for this, I mean, uh, Greg, I've been asking myself, I've, I've been asking myself that question about you for years. So, um, but you know, obviously, the bishop knows what he's doing, and even though we might all question the decision that he made here, obviously, he has a plan. Don't you work? with this guy? I mean, isn't that something that you yeah, do but, for a living? I mean, would, would a priest be a better option? I mean... Well, what do you do, first of all, for the diocese? I mean, what is your job? My name is Greg Gostomsky. I'm the Director of Youth and Young Adult and Family Ministry for the Diocese of Marquette. I have the privilege of serving the people of the Church of Marquette, supporting their programs for youth and young adult and also in the place of evangelization. But Larry, you've worked, you might even be a good choice. Uh, um, you know, you, you were good in front of crowds. How, you've worked with youth for a while. Uh, well, I, I'm in front of crowds sometimes, but I would never, I don't know that anybody's ever said I was good in front of crowds. Um, well, my name is Larry Baberka. I uh, am a parishioner at St. Louis the King Church in Marquette. I have been working with youth ministry for over 20 years. Uh, I've been working with music ministry in the church for over 20 years. And uh, I have been a school teacher uh, and guidance counselor in, in a public school for over 25 years. And I am the proud father of seven wonderful children. <laughs> but anyway, still this 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 MC thing, this this evangelization summit. Isn't there somebody like trained to do this better than maybe the two of us? I mean, doesn't the diocese? I mean, there should be like a priest or somebody, That's maybe somebody that that has some particular skill at evangelization. I mean, isn't there somebody that, that we have? You think a good diocese would have trained something? There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Oh. I've been trying to fill out these reports that I need to fill out for the diocese, and then my 
roof is leaking at St. John's. Have you seen Tim Thomas? They need to talk to him about a few building projects they need to do, and then need some tuck pointing done at St. Joe's. Probably they've got their bell tower. It might even fall over. I don't know what's going on. And I need a janitor at St. John's too. My music. Hey, Larry, you, you too. Hey, do you know any youth ministers around the diocese? Because mine just quit, so I need to hire some people and just kind of up in my arms with all these administrative duties that I have to do all the time. Greg. Yeah, Greg. Father Ryan, I know, if I'm not mistaken, that you you had some training in evangelization. I did. Yeah, that report's in here somewhere too. Uh, <laughs> that former plan. It's in the. Oh, I think it might be in the back. It's just hard to get to around, around to that all the time. But uh, yeah, I'm the pastor up at St. John's and St. Joe's, as you know, in uh, in Ishpeming, and I spent a few years before there doing some training at Sacred Heart Seminary in Detroit in evangelization. So got a great team of people in, in uh, Ishpeming there. I'm trying to figure out how to bring the gospel to all the people and uh, help them to know and love love Jesus. Well, I should get to that more, I think. It's so hard to get to that all the time. <laughs> How, so the bishop has asked Greg, and Greg in tur turn has talked to me about this, but you, you would think that, you know, you would have some particular insight. So how do we evangelize? Huh. Well, it's a good question. I think it's a lot about uh, building personal relationships with people, just taking those opportunities in the daily life that we have. Um, I mean, you work with a lot of kids at the school, you mm -hmm. see a lot of parents, you work with a lot of the parents and students at, uh, at your church, just starting with those relationships you do have. You know, it, it, it's funny that you should say that because, you know, the, the church talks about how important the youth is. You'd think there would be somebody in our diocese, I mean, besides me, that has worked with youth for, for several years, you know, somebody who's maybe focused on Catholic education, you know, that person would be an excellent resource for... for hey guys! To, oh, hey, Christy, Christy. Wow, well, you know, what? Well, we're just kind of chatting. What are you doing here? Uh, my name is Christy Miron. I am the um, principal at Sacred Heart Catholic School. I'm in my fifth year there. And I'm a parishioner at St. Anne's in Berica, and I've been involved in uh, diocesan faith formation, parish faith formation for 20 plus years, 25 years, I think. Um, also music ministry in my parish for 20 years. So I'm here because, you know, I heard there's this evangelization thing going on. Yeah, they're trying to figure out what they're supposed to say up here. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's starting to take shape. From what you're seeing, Father Ryan, it's, it's about relationships. Yeah. So uh, make some friends, uh, build relationships with people. Just those circles of friendships and influences that we do have, whether it's your neighborhood, whether it's your school, whether it's your family, whether it's your workplace, uh, just starting with the people making friends. But I mean, doesn't, doesn't evangelization have something to do with, with Jesus? Yeah, certainly we all have to be disciples of Jesus first. We have to love him. If we don't love Jesus, we're not going to want to tell anybody about him. If we don't think he matters in our lives very deeply, we're not going to want to share him with other people. Um, just taking that daily time, daily relationship, growing in our own walk with Jesus is really important before we go and be able to bring him to other people or bring other people to him. And that's so true. You know, I've seen this at the school because we have, you know, I have lots of small people around me all of the time. And so we're building relationships. The teachers and I are building relationships with our students. And we're seeing the fruits of that. We're seeing parents come back to the church or join the church based on what their children are learning in our schools. And so we're, we're kind of, we're seeing that in our, in, our, in our little community, but what I'm really struggling with is how do we get that message out there to the greater community? How do I help people to understand how valuable Catholic education is in evangelization efforts? Yeah. From what I hear Father Ryan saying, mm -hmm. it's, it's a little bit at a time. It's through those relationships that we've, that we've made. Yeah, it's, it, I think the follow-up is the hardest part of my own life. You know, I meet people maybe who's far from Jesus or far from the church. I meet them through funerals, weddings, just random conversations on the street with people. And then, you know, you maybe mark them down in a little notebook, you pray for them, and then it's like, well, I haven't talked, I haven't followed up. It's been three months, and I haven't followed up with them. I'm trying to follow up with that person, uh, invite them out to eat, invite them out to coffee. It's a long process. It takes a long time to break down defenses, to clarify misperceptions they have about the church or Jesus, uh, to help them make Jesus a priority. I mean, that ultimately is where we want to bring people is making, they might say, I believe in Jesus, or I, I believe in God, but to 
have their whole life committed to center around God and, and relationship with Jesus at the center of their life, like, that's not where they're at. It's going to take a little bit, step by step, to, over a long period of time and conversations, to bring them to that point where they can make that choice for Jesus. So, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but it kind of sounds like evangelization is basically a process of knowing Jesus. Yeah. Got to do that first. And then making friends. Making friends, yeah. And then sort of introducing those friends to Jesus. That's genius. <laughs> somebody should write that down. I know, somebody should really. That's awesome. That's like a simplified evangelization you know, we should, we, we're going to be rich, man. <laughs> this is all. Let's get market that. We should. I think somebody already has, because those words sound very familiar. No. To, Come on. To the pastoral letter that no. Bishop Durfler no. wrote. Dorfler? Dorf, 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 Read my lips. Durfler. Durfler. He's been here five years. Got it. <laughs> but that was part of his pastoral letter, Transforming Fire. Well, I should probably read those. Oh, wow, I wouldn't have said that. <laughs> uh, it's in here, I got it. Yeah. Right oh. next to the top pointing. Yeah. But, but, you know, give me a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call the bishop, because I think he, he had um, he had said something you. about that. He must trust me. Yeah, well, um, we'll see. It's magic. And Denise is a dancer. Oh, there he is. Hello, Bishop. Good morning. Good morning. Um, <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Um, if, if you have a second, you, 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 I'd like you to join in on a conversation that I'm having with some people regarding evangelization. Uh, do you have a few minutes? Um, uh, yeah, I've got a really bad cell connection. You know how it is in the UP, you drive around or wherever you are, and, and half the time your calls drop. Um, um, who is this? <laughs> this is Greg Gostomsky. Um, I work for you? <laughs> well, I occupy space in the curious. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 that guy. Anyway, uh, I, I have uh, just some people who are having this great conversation. Do you, could you spare a few minutes? Uh, I think I could. I'm uh, swinging through Escanaba right about now. Where are you guys? Okay. Well, we're in the Bessie Theater in Escanaba. Okay. Um, at where's that? Summit. Um, it's, uh, it, it's, it's between Wells and Escanaba on, on the... You're feeling well today? I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> on the south. On the west side of the highway. Um, oh, I see it now. I'm just okay. driving by. I'll pull in. All right, perfect. I'll, we'll see you in a minute. It, yeah. So Did he, come? he is. He is. He's, he's got some, a few free moments. In. Okay. Hello, Bishop. Well, hey, good to see you. Well, good to see you. Um, we had, you had talked about this evangelization summit, and um, you wanted me to MC, but I, I guess I, I kind of want to get it in my head. What is it that you would like to see at this summit? It's kind of odd that you'd ask me this question because the bishop is usually in the dark on things. That's why I wear black after all. <laughs> that, well, okay, well, I'm trying to include you then. Um, do you have some, some specific uh, outcomes that, that you would hope for for your diocese? Well, you talked about a summit, right? Mm -hmm. You know, when I think of a summit, uh, I usually think of some place that has a great view, and I'm usually inspired by that. I like that. Did you know? So, so there's something really, really inspiring <laughs> about being on, on a summit, and so I think it would be great to be inspired, have this great view of what a culture of evangelization in our diocese could be. That's the whole inspire part. So and, and inspire the people to, to, to have a view or a vision of what evangelization could be. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's the inspire part. That's the inspires part. Is there more? 
Yeah, I think there's something about transformation. Transforming, you know? sure. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of like transforming fire, and and, and so I think you know, with the summit, you, you, you're 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 inspired, and then you're kind of transformed. And wouldn't it be great if people are really transformed by a deeper relationship with Jesus Christ? Absolutely, I, I, absolutely. So be transformed by a deeper relationship with Jesus Christ, and then also. Uh, Think about how they could be better formed to, to, to share that faith in Jesus with others. That's excellent. So, so we are looking for people to be inspired by, by the love of the Holy Spirit and then transformed and, and even to form themselves in a deeper way. Yes, yes, absolutely. And, and, and is there anything specific that, that you hope that people would take back to their parishes? following uh, the summit? Yeah, I, I think so. To take that inspiration back and share with people the vision of what a culture of evangelization could be so that more and more people encounter Jesus Christ and make a personal decision to follow him in faith. Because that's, that's a key point to becoming a disciple is that encounter Absolutely. with Jesus Christ. And I think as we've been talking, part of our job in evangelization is helping to facilitate that encounter. So, so how do we help our, our friends, our relatives, to, to, to even be open to recognize that encounter and then let the Holy Spirit work through that to inspire them to, to make a personal decision to follow Him? Yes, evangelization is really the work of the Holy Spirit. It is. And it's up to us to allow ourselves to be transformed by that Holy Spirit so He can work through us. In openness. And I, I think, and this is just my own thought, that in order for me to help other people do that, I really need to do that in myself first. I heard once that the soul God is most interested in saving is you. Um, I don't think he was talking about Larry, but, um, <laughs> but he was talking about you. Yes, I hope so. Um, but that, that thought of I need to attend to my relationship with Jesus before I can help anyone else do that. Without disciples, we have there is no evangelization. There is no um, an encounter with Jesus. Those are people who are disciples are the ones who encounter Jesus. Absolutely. Because we can't really give what we don't have. You know, because um, if I were to write you a check for a million dollars, Greg, you would probably be very excited. Yes. Until you went and tried to cash it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so as much as I, I'd like to give you that bonus, you know, that, that million dollar bonus, um, uh, I just can't give it to you. Yeah. And, That's uh, okay. Yeah, I know you're heartbroken over that. But, but, but I can give you something better. What's that? Jesus. Amen. Could you, could you give us your blessing, Bishop? Certainly. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. I thank you, Dr. Francis.